Well, it's about Dave and Hussai Tuli Batani. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you, YouTube. Bye bye. I've been like waiting to do this video and I didn't know when I was going to post it. <laughs>welcome back to my channel so for today's video as you guessed it from the thumbnail i will be doing unboxing so let's just go ahead and get right into it so um a little bit about why i'll be showing you this this is actually my birthday gift from my husband and this is what i got in here um it's pretty heavy um, it actually weighs two to three pounds. Can you kind of guess what it is? I'm so excited to show you and um, I am going to be giving you um, information about this product and also prize wise because when I watch these videos, um, not a lot of people talk about like what it says on the receipt and taxes and how much it was. I don't know why. I mean, it's just show the receipt, you know, so let's go ahead and get straight to this point because i know that's why you clicked on this video right just to see what it is all right so again this is the bag and this is i just want you to look at the detail let me get up i want you to look at the detail from the bag um this is their new style bags um from back then they were brown and the letters were brown also but now they do this orange beautiful ribbon on the handles and it's actually like glittery i don't know if the camera is picking that up i am recording with my phone so hopefully you can see the glitter and then the letters they're like um not 3d but when you touch it you can actually all right so let's get straight to the point okay here it is super heavy too here is the box can you let me get a little bit closer to the camera can you guess what is in here and look at the packaging also um i believe since it's like the holidays they're using red ribbon now with gold detail all right so what is in here let's go ahead. <laughs> i'm like so excited like this has been sitting in the room for the past two days but today is the day wait no more all right so let's go ahead and open this wait i opened that wrong let me let me do this right let me turn it around So, can you guess what's in here? No? I'm gonna put this down. Alright, you ready? I am. <laughs> Why did I just do that annoying noise? Okay. Here it is. Here's the first bag. Okay. I just love the smell of like you know like when you smell like new books mm, okay so here's the first bag and here is the second bag all right are you ready yes no all right so let's go ahead and pull it out <laughs> So the first thing we're going to talk about when you see this is the monogram, the print. 
it is very, very shiny. And let's smell it. Oh, it smells. It's definitely it smells like leather. And I'm looking inside and it does say Louis Vuitton Paris. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. I should have got a flashlight. Okay, yeah. Can you see that? So it says Louis Vuitton Paris. And it says made in Italy. And this is what the sole looks like. Okay, so the name of this boot, of these boots, is um, called the Laurette. Let me scroll up here. I got my laptop right here. So these are the Laurette Platform Desert Boot. And these do come in two colors. So this one is a black one and the other one is Noir. N-O-I-R. Noir. However you say it. I don't know. And I did get these in size 8. So once they're on, they don't look huge. I know on camera they probably do look big. But let's go back to the details. So on the back of the boot, you actually see this beautiful, it has a monogram right here also. And the detail right here. Hopefully my camera is picking it up. I am recording with my phone. I'll be doing it in slow motion so you can see. So this part right here that you see is suede. And these boots are suede calf leather. So these are suede calf leather. And the rubber, it, I can't even read that right. Um, okay, so it has a rubber outsole with thread. And it's 5 centimeters by 2 inches platform. 5 centimeters by, yeah, 2 inch platforms. And it says made in Italy. So I am going to be just holding the boot while I read you the details. And just look at the detail right here on the platform. It's like a bumpy. Okay, now the shoelaces. So the shoelaces are leather also. And if you're able to see on the tongue, it has the monogram all the way down. And then these right here, um, yeah, these aren't hard. I thought they were going to be like hard, hard, but they're not hard. Yeah, so these are actually kind of, they're not like hard, hard. So let me go ahead and get the other boot out. All right, so. They do have these boots in different colors. Like I said, these pair of boots are, there's actually two kinds of boots. The other ones, as you can see on mine, it has the monogram wrapped all around from, um, from right here, all around the heel, all around. And the other ones, they do not have this part right here. The only thing that they have is like, um, I'm going to go ahead and insert a picture so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, the other boots do not have this monogram right here. I'm looking at the picture, so if I'm looking over here, it's because I'm looking at the picture. So the other boots does not have this monogram right here. The only monogram that it has is right here in the front. And then instead of having the monogram on the bottom, it has it right here. So I'm going to insert a picture. So you could see what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's go ahead and read the receipt. So this is the receipt that it comes with. It's like a little envelope. Oh, and they gave me a little booklet here. I wonder what this says in here. It's actually in different languages. Oh, how many languages does it come with? Just give me a little book it came with. I'm trying to get closer. Yeah. 
So this is the English part. Um, okay, so it says metallic leathers should be cleaned with help of a soft and dry cloth. Patent leathers should be cleaned with a soft, damp, light colored cloth and then dried with a clean cloth. To avoid the color of migration, please do not put your patent leather shoes into prolonged contact with other leathers. Smooth and grain leathers should be cleaned with a softer damp cloth. Once the leather is dry, you can polish it in a circle stroke, circular strokes using a highly quality colorless cream and a soft cloth. And then leather instructions is these natural and living materials need to be regularly cared for. In general, they should be not they should not be exposed for long periods of time to direct sunlight or humidity. So that's what I just read off in the little booklet that they give you. And now going back to the receipt, this is what the receipt looks like. And when I open it, um, the sales advisor, her name is Tara, or client advisor, I said sales advisor, same thing, client advisor. And it just says the location of the store that you, um, that I got it. Um, it also has the website and her email and it has a cell phone, telephone and fax, which I did call customer service right now because I noticed on the website, it didn't say the weight of the boots. So the weight of the boots, she said two to three pounds. All right, so this is the receipt. And this is a long receipt. So this is what the receipt looks like. It's just white. And this is the information that I want to go ahead and share with you. The top, it says this, Louis Vuitton. Actually, the proper pronunciation to this is Louis Vuitton. 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 <laughs> All right, so it says, yeah, the store location, the date, the ticket number, the cashier, the register, the time. And it says my name. Okay, so the price of these boots, they were $13.30. And with tax, sales tax was $109 with 73 cents. So the total was $14.39. And what else does it say? Oh, it just says, please retain receipt. And then at the very bottom, I'm gonna go ahead and read this bottom part. It says merchandise may be exchanged or returned for a full refund within 30 days of the original purchase date when accompanied by the original sales receipt, except personalized items, watches and jewelry. All merchandise must be in perfect sellable condition and for perfume returns the crystal wrapping must remain sealed and not tampered with watches and jewelry may be returned at watch or jewelry boutiques for exchange in the same product category or the store credit with only within the warranty certificate and product certificates um, what else as a refund may only be made in the same currency country as the original purchase so every time you do purchase something from them they will give you 30 days and just how it says on the receipt everything has to be um must be in perfect sellable condition so um let's put that away and um also let's go ahead and talk about the experience walking into these luxury expensive stores um so when you first so when you first walk in obviously you will be able to see like a security person either by the door or as soon as you walk in like facing the door um there's just always someone in there and i did notice that they also have that at gucci store the, not exactly in the front, like at the very entrance, but like once you walk in, you can either go left or right. There's someone there, but not like directly. Or I guess it was a day. 
um, I guess it's like the different day that you go. We went on a Sunday, so, and again, I ended up going back on a Tuesday. So it just depends, like the more people they are, you know, obviously they're gonna be more like attentive to seeing like what customers are coming in and out. So whenever we walked in, we were greeted immediately not immediately we were greeted like right you know just how like when you go to walmart where they're like hi welcome to walmart whatever so that's how they greet you they're there and they're like is there anything in particular that we can help you with are you looking for a specific item or do you want to try something like if you go to this shoe section you know they're gonna be like do you want to try one of these on what size are you and so immediately right when we walked in they greeted us and um the client advisor her name is tara she was really helpful and um i know when you walk into these stores you maybe feel like intimidated because i did see some videos where they're like oh some of these um sales were like really rude i've never had that experience where they're like rude i guess it's because i don't go by myself and you know i'm actually with my husband and another thing is um i've noticed that like if you're not like dressed you know like if your hair is not like if you don't look presentable i feel like they're not really gonna pay attention to you as much because they're just gonna think that like oh they're just you know like window shopping just coming in and seeing what how the store looks or whatnot um but we were greeted and this um client advisor tara she immediately asked me if i wanted to try on a shoe and i was looking actually at the sneakers um I was I'm kind of more like into a sneaker I'm more like of a tomboyish and I was looking at these two types I'm gonna go ahead and post the picture here I did try these on now I look they look kind of I know they look kind of funny or funky looking and I did try them on they were comfortable but I did like walk around where we were and they felt uncomfortable like where the arch goes towards right when it goes like toward the front of your toes it just felt a little bit uncomfortable and I don't know if it's because I'm always like used to the Nike tennis shoes or what or like if I had to break them in but they just felt uncomfortable now I did try the second pair which I'll post right here these I liked more and they were more comfortable they I don't know if you've tried the Dr. Scholl's brand like their sandals or tennis shoe whatever it is but it felt comfy like towards the end it just had like the little push um the little cushion in it like to where you actually feel like okay this shoe is comfortable and after uh, like whenever i went in i knew i wanted to buy these boots but i just wanted to you know look around and see if anything else catch my eye um but then at the end after i tried the sneakers i was like no this is not you know if i am gonna buy like designer shoes by the way this is my first pair of designer shoes and <clears throat> i don't think you know if i am gonna be buying designer shoes i'm not i don't feel like or i don't think i'm gonna be buying um like stilettos or pumps or high heels um maybe not right now but as for now i'll probably just stick to like either sneakers or boots designer but as for now you know i'm very happy with the purchase that i made these are comfortable now i know i have to break them in so i am going to probably do a review later I'll give it like maybe what like um, two months I guess after this winter is over I am gonna be doing a review and show you how well they've like worn off or like if I don't know if you know how they look from the bottom or like if they got any scratches in the front or because I know that I will be wearing them all this winter pretty much uh, what else did I want to talk about um, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's all the information I wanted to share with you. And I hope that I was sharing helpful information price-wise and just details about the boots and my experience at the store. And also, you know, if you do want to buy like any of the items, what am I talking about? If you are thinking of going to any of these like luxury designer stores, you know, just don't be intimidated by how the way they're just standing there like just looking at you like can we help you they're actually there you know they're gonna be very helpful especially if you tell them if you google your product that you already have in mind 
you know, just tell them the name. Oh, you know, uh, can I take a look at this? You know, I want to see see it, touch it, whatever it is that, you know, if you want to try the product on or whatnot. Even if you're not going to buy anything, just go in there and check the stuff for yourself and have the full experience. Um, I did forget to mention that they do offer you a drink once you say like, okay, I am going to buy this. Like, if you're just there and, you know, I feel like they know when you are going to buy something and when you're not like they just know and so after whenever you know i told her can i try these in a different size she was like okay so she was actually like investing her time in me I, you know for some reason i would feel like they were gonna be like oh she's just here like to look or maybe she's just gonna you know because some people do waste the sales advisor's time i mean i know that's their job but there's people that just go in and you know take pictures and like leave but no, this was not the case with me. I already knew what I wanted to buy and she was very helpful. So I liked her service and then get my wallet stamped. Now the stamping on the wallets is free. You just have to call and well, at least I called and I told them that I was going to go in and, you know, just because I didn't know what their schedule was like, if they were going to be like, oh, it's going to take a day or so, but it actually took 45 minutes. So let me just show you real quick what I'm talking about. Um... On the wallet this is what I'm talking about so whenever you want to get something stamped you just have to fill out a little form and they can do these different colors and they can do them um, I think she said they can do up to four initials but I just did three for my name and my last name and they can do the different sizing also that was that was too small I did not want to do it that small but yeah, it's like when you open it's like bam, like right in your face. <laughs> but yeah, that is everything I wanted to share with you. I hope you found this video helpful and I hope I shared all the details that you were wanting to know about this product. And as always, thank you for being a subscriber and please leave a message. You can't leave a message. Go ahead and comment down below and let me know if you have gone to any of the stores. What was your experience like? I definitely want to know that how your experience was if you have gone to any of these stores and what else um yeah i think that's all so thank you so much for watching this video and like always i'll be back with another one bye